So this clip takes place in Act 1. Uh, it's 1959, and uh, my character, Carl, is a representative of the Community Association. And he's come to Russ and Bev's house because they have, uh, they've just sold their house to a black family. And uh, on behalf of the Community Association, I come here and try and get them to not sell it. Now, in the argument that goes along, how does this come about? Bev says, uh, says you know, well, maybe we should consider what they want, what, what this family wants. And, uh, and then the argument moves to, well, would they really enjoy living here? And, you know, carefully trying to tiptoe around the issue. Even in 1959, these guys are trying to be careful about what they say. Uh, so they're trying to establish that there are simply differences between black people and white people. And, like, the great absurdity of this writing is that my my, you know, deal closer, the, the, the linchpin in my argument is that I have never seen a black family skiing. Do you ski? Do I? Or your husband? Either of you? Ski? Downhill skiing? We don't ski, no. And this is my point! Now, uh, the children who attend St. Stanislaus, well, once a year, we take the middle schoolers up to Indian Head Mountain, and I can tell you, in all the years I've been there, not once have I seen a colored family on those slopes. Now, what accounts for that? Certainly no deficit in ability. So what I have to conclude is that, for some reason, there's just something about the pastime of skiing that doesn't appeal to the Negro community. And, and feel free to prove me wrong, Carl. but you'll have to show me where to find the skiing Negroes. From Carl's standpoint, he, he's not saying anything bad. Uh, you know, he, he thinks he's making an impartial, even-handed judgment uh, or, or observation about the world, right? It's an absurd observation. Uh, he doesn't know that. He thinks he's just saying, hey, you know, uh, this group chooses to live differently than, than ours do. Now, we hear it with our modern ears when, it's, when I say, you know, you'll have to show me the skiing Negroes. Uh, you can't, I can't begin to describe to you the response in the audience. It is, there is laughter, there is this incredible uncomfortability. You hear thousands of people laugh and then cover their mouth. They're, ha oh. ha, like, can I, is it okay to laugh at this? Is this all right? And I mean, I think that's what this play is positing. 